Hello, welcome to Bayern Now, the ultimate Bayern Munich fan channel. Oh, according to Kyle Heinz Rummenigge, Bayern Munich are interested in Federico Chesa. To quote him correctly, I can confirm that he's a great player and he has always shown it in the national team at Juve and Florentina. He is a player for Bayern Munich. Yes, baby, that means there's internal interest at Federico Chesa. Kyle Heinz isn't part of the board anymore, but let's not kid ourselves. They know everything that's going on. In fact, if anything, they're part of the shadow board. Unai Honas did the same thing when we were signing Sané. He'd come out in interviews and pretty much just act like the deal was done. And it was done. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about Chesa coming to Bayern Munich? Federico chasing you down the wings. I love this guy. I'll be the only one on this channel to say I knew him when he was in the streets with Frank Ribéry. Look at this picture, man. Like father, like son. All right, let's move over to the transfer screen. Pa pow Chesa is your explosive winger. He's complete finishing, dribbling. He has it all. Left foot, right foot. He's basically Ribéry's regen. His technical elegance is at another level. I would take this guy all day, every day over Kingsley Coleman. I'm not even going to kid you. I'd take him right now. I'd take him. No homo. I'd take him. He has pace. He's not injury prone like that. I mean, he is injured right now, but he's not injury prone. Probably only missing a total of 15 games or so due to injuries. I just know there's people looking at his stats at Juventus. Oh, starting 50% of games. Two goals, one assist. He sucks. He sucks. He finished. You don't know ball, man. Watch some football. Watch it with your eyes and then tell me what you think about Chesa. If anything, you're going to feel sympathy for him because this baller is at Juventus and Juventus suck right now. So how much would Chesa cost any team that's going for him? Because Liverpool might be in the race. So Chesa is actually on a loan from Juventus, but Juventus have an obligation to buy. Not the option to buy, the obligation to buy. That number alone is somewhere around 60-something million. Keep in mind, Juventus want to make money and recover because of COVID. They're also very close to not getting Champions League football. All of that could change, by the way dependent on how Serie A continues to go. But I imagine if they don't get Champions League, oh my gosh, players like Chesa, Benissa would really want to leave. No, George, it's Ben Tucker or Ben Tukor, I don't know. Players will want to leave, that's all you should know. Contrary to their Serie A form, their Champions League form is actually very decent. Juventus won their group with Chelsea in it. But Bayern Munich is the club most players would like to go to right now. Imagine playing with these superstars, getting paid well, getting a great manager coaching you. Everything is just perfect. Would I buy Federico Chesa? And people, don't forget, Coman played for Juventus. He might want to go back to Italia. She's from Italia! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Well, he might want to go back there and then swap deal. Federico Chesa plus 10 million because Chesa is better than Coman. So more money for Chesa. We pay 10 million, give him Coman. He comes in here. We don't pay him 20 million a season. We pay him 15 million. He accepts it because he's at the best club in the world now. And everything is Gucci. Like the shirts with the snake on it. Federico Chesa is younger than Coman. But his footballing intellect is just so much more developed. It's like Tony Stark versus Obadias. Federico Chesa can create an arc reactor in a cave with scraps. But Obadiah, he'll freeze in the air from flying with the big first Mark I suit. So, just my point right there. Okay, now that I think about it, it is weird that Tony Stark flew from a cave, flying away from terrorists, and then landed in a desert took off the beautiful, technologically advanced suit, the first in human history, just took it off, got on a plane, and went home. Didn't think to himself, let's just pick up the suit and the, and the parts and everything that's in it. No, he just left, which is weird, because his arch nemesis in the movie goes and finds that suit and wears it. So, all he could have done to solve this problem was just take his suit with him on the giant plane that came to rescue him. Okay, I hate Iron Man 1, never mind. So, I don't know what you think. Do you want Tony Stark at FC Bayern München, Federico Chesa, or do you want Bayern 
to renew Coman's contract, give him $20 million a year, and then he gets injured every three games. What do you think? Smash the like on this video, subscribe, let's get to 8,000 billion subscribers before 2022 ends. Yeah, <laughs> my big goals. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Mia, send Mia, and peace.